Hey guys, RC here. We are back. Episode 2. Draft Day Sports Pro Football 2020. Alright, so I went in uh, last week for the second preseason week. We beat uh, Miami 37-29. Dak Prescott, four touchdown passes. Uh, Alan Hearns, no longer with the club, sadly. Six catches, 145 yards. Let me turn these off. Sorry about that. There's no sound in the game, so eventually that's going to cut out. So I was checking out. Somebody else uh, actually is doing a uh, a series for this game, but it's the only one I could find. And there is a two-dimensional overlay, but it's very convoluted. It's hard to follow, each, and it does each play. And so, you know, if you've ever watched football, it's very quick, very short burst of action. And so it's not like football manager where you've got actual action uh, going on. So not going to go that route. I think we're just going to try the... Um, I think we're going to try the, uh, you know, the, this format where we just kind of simulate a couple of weeks and we, we kind of look at it, recap uh, if we have any injuries or something, we're going to have to deal with those. Uh, so anyway, Joe Mixon, a major injury for the Bengals. He's out pretty much the season, 12 to 16 weeks. Uh, the New York Giants center, John Halapio, also a long-term injury uh let's see season predictions we've got an email all right so the, this is a uh scouting report they haven't played any games so there's nothing to talk about there uh let's see finances we'll just kind of run through this on occasion uh the cowboys this is uh, and this this is actually some interesting information. So you can see the uh, you have sixty one players. We've only got sixty four. We have sixty four on the active roster. So we're going to have to go and sort that out. Um, so let's see where do we go here. All right, Cooper Rush is probable with fatigue. Same with Ezekiel Elliott. Michael Jackson's probable with a dislocated shoulder, and Chris Jones is probable with fatigue. Uh, come on, guys. You know, you're paid money to play this game. You're supposed to be uh, staying in shape on your own time. Uh, let's see. So, roster management right here. All right, so we have to move guys to the practice squad. So... We are going to, we're going to carry three quarterbacks. I think we're going to carry, oh, here we go. Okay, so this tells you how, this is your position count, current, minimum. So I can move a tight end. I can move a wide receiver. I can actually move a lot of defensive ends. So let's do that. And you can auto adjust your roster if you want. Let's try that, see what it does. Boom, all right. So Hyatt, Looney, Schultz, Brown, Wilson. These guys all go to the practice squad. So now we're down to 53, eight on the practice squad. You know, and, you know, if you wanted to change that, we could pull one of these guys off. We could move guys over. Uh, so, anyway, we'll go with that. I am okay. Uh, so, we need to go back into depth charts now. And let's go ahead and auto-adjust this with our coach just to make sure we have full depth charts. Uh, so, we're going to save that package. All right, we're going to go over to the defense because now we have to re-update that, right? And this will be something you'll have to do week to week. Just as, you know, as you have guys get injured, they'll come off the depth chart. So, 
All right, uh, let's see. The red is injury, right? So that's that's the deal there. So Ezekiel Elliott is our top running back. Uh, let's get into the week. And again, I, you know, you can play these out, but you you know, and when you actually go to play it out, you actually can call all the plays. Um, it looks like you can set it up to do the two dimensional where the, where the game runs it. But again, it just did not look good to me, um, as far as for an enjoyable view. So we're going to go this direction and I hope you guys are okay with that. So we're going to go ahead and simulate the week. All right. We're going to go back to week one and it keeps them highlight, you know, highlighted, uh, now let's see if we go to watch. Um, yeah, see, this is going to show the whole thing. So yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, all right. So Dak, uh, we win, uh, Washington wins 45, 24, 28 point fourth quarter for the Redskins blow us off the field. Uh, Prescott, throws for oh Dwayne Haskins player of the game so he started for him this year uh 15 of 22 208 yards two touchdowns Josh Norman the cornerback that's not Josh Norman okay so those are generic pictures for sure um I don't even think that's the right race for Josh Norman but anyway, he had a great game, irregardless, because he's a great cornerback. 13 tackles, one interception. Uh, <laughs> a 68-yard run for Haskins to, for his first career score. 97-yard kickoff return for Josh Norman. Dak Prescott got ca the Cowboys on the board uh, with their second score to make it 14-10 with a three-yard pass to the returning Jason Witten. He found his big receiver, Amari Cooper, in the second quarter, putting the Cowboys up at the half. It was tied at the end of three. Uh, wow. They traded touchdowns. Haskins with another score, and then two pick sixes for the Redskins down the stretch. Uh, both interceptions by Prescott ended up being returned in the final two minutes. Ouch. So, uh, Dak, choke, man, choke. Don't be asking for $40 million in real life. Uh, if we go to the standings, so we are 0-1 to start the season. Uh, if we go in and look at individual statistics... You're passing. Okay, we have to we have to click on each one. That's cool. Uh, so we have Dak Prescott. He completed 68%, three touchdowns. Not horrible. Uh, rushing Pollard, 22 for 82. Weber, 11 for 86. Uh, a fumble for Pollard. Receiving eight catches for 140 for Hearns. Ten catches for a buck 25 for a Cooper. And a touchdown. Cobb and Witten also with touchdowns. So we can kind of look down here now. We can see we're averaging 24 points a game. That's 15th in the league, giving up 45 points a game, which is 30th in the league. We rank number one in offense, number 12 in defense in yards allowed. We're number eight rushing on offense, 14th against the run, number one passing, number 11 against the pass. Our passing leaders. Uh, there's our, so we're number one here. This, so, you know, these numbers are what we are. And then you can see the leaderboard for the whole NFL and you can click between offense and defense. And of course we're nowhere near the leaderboard. The saints only allowed three points in their debut. Uh, click. To, oh, okay. Click this click to change view. So you click the name right there. Okay. So that's what we just did. All right. Well, that took about nine and a half minutes, so we'll probably be able to do a handful of games. Uh, Player of the Week, Casey Hayward of the Chargers, and Andy Dalton, Offensive Player of the Week. Wow. Game of the Week, Saints and Raiders. 
I don't know if that was week one or not. All right, we have five emails. Let's jump into those. So we have our next opponent is the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, they are third in scoring at 45 points a game, which doesn't bode well because that's what we gave up. Uh, they're giving up or they're getting 269 in passing, 116 rushing yards per game. On the defense, they're allowing 10 points, so we can kind of take a look at that. Jalen Smith <coughs> wants us to ease up on the workload. Uh, dude, your riding is too hard. Ease the schedules. Okay, so this is where we can come back in. Uh, we can come back here. And, yeah, let's drop. Let's drop that. I, I want, I would like more game tape, right? So let's save that. So this is something you can tweak out evidently week to week. Uh, the players will email you and, uh, and then that, you know, again, you, you don't, you, you practice, but you want to keep them healthy, right? So we're going to delete all those messages. We've read them all. We've adjusted our training to address some of the issues that were raised. Should have done that probably before week one, but that's okay. Uh, depth chart. Actually, let's see. Do we have injuries anywhere? Staff roster. I guess we can come in here. Uh, nothing. We have the injured reserve, but we haven't put anybody there. Upcoming free agents. That'll show you anybody coming due. Uh, so let's see. We've got Cooper Rush is probable, probable, questionable with migraines, probable. All right, so he's out two to four weeks with a sprained knee. Fatigue. Fatigue. Uh, four to six weeks with a torn abdominal muscle. So that's one of our defensive ends. Luckily, we've got some depth there. Doubtful with a fractured nose. So we're going to have to come into our depth chart. Uh, we will have to update this. We will set that. Now, you know, I always try to be very honest in when I'm evaluating games. One of the reasons I, I quit playing the first version of this game, which was called PFS, uh, Pro Football Simulator, uh, and that was prior to the... Uh, developer whose name is Brooks uh, becoming affiliated with Wolverine literally at the end of my first season I had all of these guys that became free agents because I could not afford to re-sign any of them um, at all at all um, I had guys that were making you know I had wide receivers where the top wide receiver was making you know whatever and he wanted to raise, you know, every everybody wanted $12 million a year or something. I mean, it was something crazy. And I literally had no money to sign anybody for what they were requesting. And I lost. So I, I won my division the first year, made the playoffs, made a deep run into the playoffs, and then lost literally half of my team. I lost like 30 players. It was It was sick. And I was like, well, if I can't even re-sign a single player with 30 potential free agents, um, the game's broken. So hopefully it's fixed. Hope, uh, But, you know, that was many years ago, three or four years ago. Uh, so since Brooks is, you know, and, and to Brooks' credit, uh, Brooks actually plays in some online leagues that use the game. Uh, so he's out there. He's visible. Uh, he answers people. Uh, he, he takes a lot of, uh, of your input over on the forums where he's at. And, uh, you know, he, and, and he's always looking to improve the game. So the fact that they've come out with 19 and now 20, 
I know uh, Sim Nation, which is the uh, gaming uh, gaming online gaming site that I belong to. Uh, they, you know, they've had a long running league, so they've evidently fixed a lot of those early issues from the earlier game, which is good. So uh, anyway, that's why I wanted to jump in and give this one a try and uh, see what it looked like. Now, let's see. We can look at records, single games. We'll look at that periodically, but I think what we want to do is we want to get into uh, week two, and we're going to go ahead and simulate this week. Uh, we are going to uh, show the score. So 35-21 in overtime. Oh, one, okay, so one of the other things that I did is I put down uh, overtime rules, no ties, and uh, no sudden death. So they play a whole quarter in overtime. Uh, and if you, don't fit, if you don't win at the end of a quarter, you go to a second quarter. So you could play uh, 15, 16 quarters if you need to, you know, the old days. You know, when you played until the end of the game. Uh, so if we look at the box score, Ezekiel Elliott was up there. Dak Prescott, another two interception performance. So that's that's disappointing. Uh, Xavier Woods, free safety with three tackles, one sack, one interception. We had 24 first downs to just 11. 638 yards of offense. 33 carries, 246 yards, 7.5 yards per rush. That's huge. Uh, Brett Maher, uh, our field goal kicker. Three straight field goals to put us up 9 nothing. Lamar Jackson got a touchdown pass to Hollywood Brown. Uh, so a couple of young players in a you know, second year and a rookie hooking up there. Maher made it 12-7 at the half. 15 to 7 in the third quarter. They got back and went for two, failed, making it 15 13. Uh, Maher, so we were unable to put it into the end zone. Jalen Smith scored for Baltimore, putting them up 21 18 with a two point conversion. Maher equaled, so seven field goals for him during regulation. Dak Prescott then broke off an 86 yard run and then hit Michael Gallup for a three yard touchdown pass. 60 attempts, one touchdown, two interceptions, a 71 rating. Uh, Lamar Jackson only five rushes, so that's not realistic because we know he's going to probably average uh, about 15 carries a game, right? Ezekiel Elliott, 20 carries, 112 yards, did not find the end zone. But still, you know, that was not bad. Kicking... So I wish they, you know, I wish they would give an overall field goal, but you, you have to you have to do math. So he was seven of seven, including three of three from 40 plus. So good for him. Game analysis. Haven't looked at that yet. All right, 63 passes, 33 runs. You can look at and this is how uh, you can actually scout your opponents. You know, you can actually go in and look at how they do this. So if you're playing a human opponent, this could actually be very helpful. Uh, and then it shows by formation. So that's some good in-depth information there. If we go take a look at the schedule standings, schedule standings, uh, we are now one and one. We're a game behind Washington. Defense is still struggling. So if we take a look here, we are number eight in scoring, 29th in scoring defense. Still first in overall offense, up to 10th against uh, in the defensive category. Number three overall rushing, number one passing, number 12 and 13 respectively. Yeah, so we're doing all right here. Time-wise, we're at 19 minutes, so let's try to get a third game in. Uh, we do have two emails. Uh, the Falcons, uh, our next opponent, Blake Jarwin. So we... Saw some increases in uh, in a few players, including Prescott with his intelligence. Uh, Blake Jarwin back up tight end with blocking. So, and you notice what we don't have: no complaints about training. So, you know that's good. 
uh, let's see, we can go down to depth chart because we do need to just kind of, no, not depth chart, roster. Let's look around a little bit, just, just here real quick, because I, I want to, there should be an easy way to see. Injuries, I would think. Teddy Bridgewater. Um, all right, I want to go. Let's see. New Orleans Saints roster. All right, Drew Brees fractured eye socket. Holy crap! Y'all leave Drew alone, man. Gee whiz, 40 years old though. Wow. I was wondering why Bridgewater played and he won player of the week. Actually bodes well, because I'm a Saints fan as well as a Cowboys fan. Um, being from Louisiana, uh, love my Saints. Uh, so roster, I want to go back to the Cowboys. Go back to roster. All right, so still fatigue here, still fatigue, severe migraines. Tavon Austin, a jam finger is probable. He's still out. He's still out. That's long term. I think we're okay on the depth chart. It, I'm, and you know what? I'm going to not address that. I'm not going to look at it because I want to I want to see if it'll give me an error message if I have to go back and uh, address that. So let's move into week three. We're playing the Atlanta Falcons on the road. Let's go ahead and simulate the week. We'll go back to week three. I don't know why it jumps ahead to week four when you need to, uh, to touch this. Dak Prescott, player of the week offensively. That's good. Kevin Minter, Dak Prescott. All right, so we won 27-24, so a little spoiler alert. Three touchdowns. So let's look at the score. There we go. 13 fourth quarter points. Take a look at the box score. <coughs> Let's see. So Prescott to Hearns for a 31-yard strike. Julio Jones equalizes on a 53-yard pass. And then the Prescott to Cooper hookup that we've been waiting for, 14-7 to and 14-10 to with a Atlanta field goal. He got him up 16 to 14 after three with a couple of field goals. Prescott to Blake Jarwin, the backup tight end. Uh, then Atlanta went up with a 30 yard touchdown run. Brett Maher with two late field goals, including a game winner with nine seconds left. Ezekiel Elliott, only nine carries, 34 yards, 31 of 39 passing, a 128-1 rating. That's awesome. So with a rating, if you're not familiar with uh, how football ratings work, a 100 is considered uh, average rating. Uh, so anything over 100 is good. Anything under 100 is, you know, the lower you get, the worse, the worse it was. I'm not sure what the worst rating you can have. It's not a, I don't, I don't think it's a zero. I guess technically you could, but I want to say it's something like in the 20s is like, you know, if you throw one pass, you know, even if it's incomplete, I think you're, you know, you're in the 20s. Uh, Cooper with eight catches, 133 yards. Hearns, five for 134. Jason Witten, four for 27. So we're at about the 24 minute mark. So, you know, again, normally I won't talk to you guys about that, but kind of want to walk you through what I'm looking at and how I'm thinking. So we've done three games. Uh, let's take a look at uh, standings. So we're two and one. We're tied in our division. And the way the playoffs work is you have every division gets the division winner. There's four of them, right? Because the West is down here, forgotten about because it doesn't fit on one screen. 
but then you get uh, two wild cards. And so even if you have even if you have a team with a better record that finishes in second or third place in a, in a, in a particular division, they're not going to go to the playoffs over a division winner, even if that division winner has a worse record because it, the division winner gets the automatic uh, playoff spot. And then after your four division winners, then it's the two best records overall. So that's where you get your six teams from. Two teams get a bye in the first round. Your other two teams will play the two wild card teams in the divisional playoff. And then those two winners will then play the two, the two teams that got buys with the best record in the, uh, in the next round. And then that's the final four. Then you have the championship for the uh, conference championship. And then the winner of that goes to the Super Bowl and plays the winning team from the other side for the world championship. Or we call it the world championship, the Super Bowl. Yes, it's only played in the United States. Whatever. <laughs> All right. If we look at the top 10 uh, for the season, well, no, that's only going to be after years are done. All right, statistics, if we take a look at us. All right, so Prescott, after three games, completing 67.8, which is pretty good. Seven touchdowns, five interceptions. Really needs to work on that. Rushing, Ezekiel Elliott now leads the club with 146 yards after two games. Uh, and this is games, games started. Uh, receiving. Hearns with 21 catches, 413 yards. So he leads the club in yards. Uh, we can sort by touchdowns. That's going to go to Amari Cooper. Also leads the club in catches. I wish when you clicked on that, it automatically sorted high to low. But, oh well. Jason Witten, 10 catches, 53 yards. Uh, special teams... All right, Gallup's averaging 28 yards per kickoff return and 8 yards per punt return. On the defensive side of the ball, we have uh, three guys with uh, one interception apiece. <coughs> Heath and Lee, 17 tackles. Demarcus Lawrence and Lee, two tackles for loss. Demarcus Lawrence with two sacks. So there's our leaders there. 16 pancakes for Travis Frederick and Tyron Smith. 10 of 10 on field goals for Maher. So he's doing a good job. Jones averaging 44.9 yards per punt, which is solid. I don't, that's not net, that's total. Net would be backing out any return yards. And other. Uh, that's total plays, penalties, penalty yardage. Okay, that's cool. All right, guys, so uh, that is where we're at. Let's take a quick look, and I apologize for the yawn because it's, um, what time is it? I can't, can't get that to work here. It is 4.30 in the morning. Uh, as I've gotten older here in the last couple of years, I've started having really bad insomnia. And uh, so, like, I woke up today at about 2.15, tossed and turned for about an hour, and then finally said, screw it, and got out of bed. So uh, I'll probably take a nap during one of the college football starts today. Maybe that's why I woke up, but I'm really excited. Uh, Michigan plays tonight. Uh, Leeds plays this morning at 9. I'm a big Leeds fan, so hopefully I can watch a stream of that somewhere. Uh, but anyway, Dak Prescott. Broken nose. Well, he, you know, you don't need a nose to play quarterback. Severe migraines. He's coming back. Jalen Smith is still questionable, probable. So what we are going to want to do is we're going to go back into our depth chart, which is right here. And we're going to just re-update this. So we're ready to go for next time. And this will kind of be what I'm looking at. 
I'm going to do at least one season with this, guys. I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, But what I need from you guys is to let me know what you think. And I, I really want to know. Do you like the format that I'm doing it in, the way that I'm processing it? <clears throat> uh, do you want to see anything else in particular? Uh, like I said, I just don't see doing the two-dimensional play-by-play uh, -play just because it go, either it's going to take forever um, if we slow it down for you to actually watch the little dots move around. And, I mean, you know, you figure you got 11 dots like this, and they're, eh, and, you know, what can you really see? It's, it's not, uh, you know, and it's just little dots. That's really all it is. Um, and if you want to see that, you know, there's definitely some, another guy that's doing that. Uh, so more power to him. Uh, but it's, you know, it's just got music in the background and, and, uh, you know, I couldn't watch it more than a couple of minutes and I went, ow, <laughs> and it hurt my head. So, um, anyway, let me know what you think of this. This may be just a one-off where we do one season uh, because probably by the time you see this episode, I'll probably be another one or two more episodes in. We'll see. Or I may just wait and do this one and see what you guys tell me. But please give me some feedback. If you like the video, if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. That'll at least tell me it's kind of like casting a vote for yes, I want to see more. Uh, no, please don't ever do a, a game in this ser series again uh, or a series of this game. Um, leave comments. Let me know what you think, and we'll go from there. But, you know, basically we'll, we'll sim out each week. It looks like we can do about three games per episode. So uh, that's five plus playoffs. What I might do is I'll probably sim a couple of games off camera and we'll come back and, you know, we can do a, a like a, a, re, a rehash uh, real quick. And uh, maybe that's the way to go, too, is I'll just do like three games, come back. But I don't know. Do we watch? Do we watch every game? Do I come back and do like three games off camera and, and try to cut to maybe four episodes per season just anyway just some thoughts bouncing around my head give me some feedback on what you guys think and we will see you next time take care bye